Sony sent over a few things and one of them we're going to use as a giveaway. So stay tuned to the end. This right here is the Sony 360 Spatial Sound Personalizer. Yeah, it's your own 360 Spatial Audio Bubble. Its name is the SRS NS7 and it actually has a very interesting concept and usability. So Sony sent over a couple of different things. So, you know, hashtag gift from Sony. Thank you, Sony. They've sent over the Bravia XR TV system with the, the sound bar, the subwoofer, the satellite speakers. It's actually incredible how uh, when you download the app, take a picture of your ear, it analyzes like the best way to deliver sound to your ears. And that's basically what this is doing, but in a mobile fashion. So let's go ahead and open this up, see what this is all about because I am a big fan of the Sony Spatial Audio Sound System. So the first thing we have here is this puck, and it has a USB-C in, as well as a digital audio in as well. Then of course the Bluetooth button. So you're gonna plug this into your Sony Bravia TV, especially the XR TV. Then we have this very interesting device. So let's set that aside first. Let's go further into this box and see what's in here. So. A number of things. Now we have uh, some cables, so USB Type A to Type C, a pretty long one right there. Uh, a shorter USB A to USB Type C, and lots of paperwork. And it seems like there's one more cable. The digital out. All right, so the digital that's going to plug into the puck here into the Sony Bravia XR. So that's about it. Then obviously lots of paperwork and stuff. So with this. This is a very interesting device. It's flexible, so it seems like it'll fit most people. It is IPX4 water resistant, so all of the buttons and plugs are kind of covered by this rubber thing that you can take off, it feels like. And uh, then some sliders. So we'll get into all the features here, but first I just wanted to try this on and see how this looks or see how I look in it. Does this look silly? Does this sound, you know, is it gonna sound great? Now, it's hard to display sound when I'm doing a video like this, but a lot of people are familiar with the Sony XM4s. So I do have these paired with my Bravia XR TV. So I'm gonna use these as a comparison to see how well this actually sounds compared to just using some headphones. So basically this is about being mobile while watching your TV. And speaking of being mobile, let's uh, watch this video for our sponsor. I've tested a lot of laptops and you're going to want to stay to the end to find out why this one actually surprised me. This is the MSI Bravo 15 gaming laptop. This has plenty of ventilation on the back here, here and on the side. Plus on the bottom, you see all of these copper heat sinks. We have a traditional USB type A for your mouse and keyboard. We also have a five gigabit USB type A right here. So we have a headphone jack, another five gig USB type A, the USB type C that's also five gig and HDMI 4K 60 plus an ethernet. Opening up the laptop with one finger is a breeze. The keyboard is actually very comfortable. The trackpad is a good size for a gaming laptop because mostly you're gonna be using a mouse and the keyboard. This laptop is a multitasking beast. I have a second display connected to it by HDMI. It has eight cores and 16 threads. Excellent for multitasking needs. The AMD Ryzen 7 5800H CPU. Plus it's upgradable for 64 gigs of RAM. Yeah, let's get in some gaming because this 1080p IPS display goes to 144 hertz. Diablo 4 is my game of the hour and with this AMD Radeon 6500M GPU, it's running it smooth as butter. Also, I ran this by the pool, downstairs, on Wi-Fi, on the battery, and it ran wonderfully. And so the real question is, will it run Star Citizen? Well, with its 8 cores, 16 threads, and this 6500M GPU, this AMD based laptop by MSI is running Star Citizen very nicely. Charging the Sony SRS NS7 is actually pretty straightforward. So it has a little port right here that you just open up and the fingernail just open it up very easily. And that's USB-C. So you're just gonna plug a USB-C power cable into it right there. And then on the opposite side right here, you're gonna see the charging indicator light turn kind of an orange color. The instructions do say to let it charge for four hours from zero to 100%. So I do suggest doing that before you set up the whole thing. So let's plug in the wireless transmitter, this puck looking thing. And it's pretty simple. So it's just two cables. So this is the digital out coming from the TV, the Sony Bravia XR. So we're just gonna plug that in right there. And then to power it, it's just the USB type A that's plugged into the TV and plugging in the USB-C right there. 
and right away the lights come on and now it's just a little bit of cable management. This is the Sony Bravia XR TV and when I turned it on this popped up right away. So let's go ahead and set this up. And it's checking the connection. So it downloaded my personal audio setup because I logged into the Sony website. So let's play this demo now. And this is definitely something different. As I'm turning around and everything, I know this looks quite awkward, but that was pretty cool. It was a very clear audio 360 experience. Sony has their own TV station or streaming station called Bravia, and this is 65. So this movie was shot on Sony cameras and it's being streamed at 80 megabits per second. So it's really fine detail. Wearing this, the audio is very clear. Like it's not headphones, right? It's, it's just my own spatial audio. So I can get up, walk around. And I do feel like I'm still in the surround sound or the spatial audio environment. And now let's compare the audio with the Sony XM4s. I do have the noise cancellation on and uh, yeah, there's a noticeable difference. However, with this, it does feel like it's more 360 audio. Like when the river water is going, I kind of feel the bass on my shoulders. It is a nice experience with this. Pairing with your phone is very easy. You just hold down the power button when you turn this device on and pair with your phone. Bluetooth connected. So once you have this set up with your phone, you can use your preferred voice assistant to basically ask whatever you want. So you just hold down the voice assistant button. What's the weather for today? It'll be sunny with a high of 79 and a low of 59. Currently it's 77 and sunny. All right, so I have some thoughts on the Sony neckband here. One, the name, the SRS NS7, it's a mouthful, it doesn't roll off the tongue, I always forget the name. Uh, so Sony neckband, I do like the feel of it, I do like the audio. So when it comes to listening to a movie, watching a movie, TV show, you can easily hear everybody speaking, like all the speaking, perfectly clear. You can really hear the ambient music that movies have, especially that 65 movie that we were watching. Um, when it comes to the, the, the explosions or the, the sound of water going through a river you know, type of environment, you kind of get that vibration a little bit on your shoulders. Not like haptic vibration, but you know, audio. When it's robust, you feel it. And that's what you get with this. You don't get that with the Sony XM4s. The Sony XM4s here, you get that isolation, you know, that noise cancellation experience, which is really nice. I do appreciate it. And that's why I travel with this all the time. But for this, I would use this in like, you know, hotel rooms or uh, definitely at home. So I'm not disturbing anybody else in the house or type, some type of thing because people around you can't really hear the audio that you're experiencing. They know that there's audio, but they may not be able to make out like words, sentences or, you know, exactly what type of music you're listening to. This is something that's meant for you. This is personalized. And if somebody's in the room next door, they're not going to hear anything. So you can crank this up full blast and know that you're not disturbing anybody else in the house, which is really, really nice. So really, you're just walking around getting that full 360 spatial audio experience, doing what you want to do while not being you know, tied to the couch or like a, a static uh, surround sound or 360 audio system. That's, you know, the sound bar, the subwoofer, the satellite speakers. You can just do what you want. So I'm liking this. I like the fact that using the voice assistant is very seamless with, through your cell phone, uh, Apple or you know Android. And it's just a comfortable, nice feeling device. And I feel like it's fairly durable as well. You, like, you could probably drop this a few times and it's good to go. So I do like this. I'm going to use it. And when it comes to this that's playing right here, let's do a giveaway. Final Fantasy 16. Tell me in the comment section who your favorite character is and I'll pick a winner at the end of June. And yeah, Sony sent me a code for Final Fantasy 16, Sony PlayStation 5. Uh, so good luck. And if you have any questions on the Sony neckband, let me know in the comments below.